All right, welcome back. So, so far we've talked about transformers, but we haven't talked about three-phase transformers, or more specifically, three-phase transformer connections. So as we're going to see, a three-phase transformer can be connected in what's called a Y configuration or a delta configuration. So we have two types of connections, and therefore we're going to have four different combinations that we can connect transformers in. So we're going to have what's called a YY connection, a Y delta connection, a delta Y connection, or a delta delta connection. And all of these have their advantages and disadvantages with respect to the other. So we'll talk about some of the differences between all of these types of connections. So we're going to start by talking about what's called the YY configuration. So oftentimes you will see that represented like this. So you would see a Y Y connection just for the letter Y. And so for a three phase transformer that's connected in a Y configuration, you're basically going to connect all the neutrals of the three phases of the transformers together. And then you're going to have each phase connected to the positive side of each winding of the transformer. So in other words, for this transformer that I have over here on the top left, or rather this three phase transformer, if we were to connect the primary side in a Y configuration, then we would connect it like this. So we would have the neutrals connected together like this. So the neutrals for each one of the three phase windings connected like this. And then this neutral then is available for grounding. So if we wanted to, we could connect this to ground. And again, that connection to ground is optional. And of course, this then would connect to the A phase on the primary side. So this would be I'm going to call it capital A, capital B over here for the B phase on the primary side, and then capital C over here for the C phase on the primary side as well. Now for a YY connection, of course, we would then connect the secondary in a Y configuration as well. So we would do the same thing. All the neutrals would be connected together. So this connects over here. This connects over here. And then likewise, we have the connections over here for the A phase, B phase over here, and C phase over here. And I'm going to use lowercase letters just to kind of delineate that that's the secondary side. Now, again, there's certain advantages and disadvantages for a YY configuration. One of the main advantages is that the insulation costs are lower because the face-to-face -face voltage, or rather the voltage that's applied to each winding is the face-to-neutral voltage. So in other words, the voltage across this winding over here, from here to here, is simply VA. So it's the face-to-neutral voltage for the A phase. So the insulation of that winding only needs to tolerate the face-to-neutral voltage, not the face-to-face -face voltage, which of course is higher. So that's one of the advantages. And let me just write it over here. I'm going to say advantages, advantages. I'm going to say lower insulation cost. And again, that comes from the fact that we're connecting the phase to neutral voltage to the winding rather than the phase to phase voltage. And another advantage is also that we have the neutral is available for grounding. For grounding. As you can see over here at the bottom. So over here and over here, the neutral then is available for us to ground it if we wanted to. Now this advantage is that there's issues with harmonics with a two winding transformer like this one. Now, another advantage is that the phase shift between the primary and secondary voltages is zero. In other words, the primary VA, for example, would be in phase with the secondary VA. So there's no phase shift between the primary and the secondary voltages. That's a big advantage of having the same type of connection. So in this case, a YY connection between the primary and the secondary. And as we're going to see later on, the same applies for a delta delta connection. So as long as your connections are the same between the primary and the secondary, then there's not going to be any phase shift between the line voltages for both sides of the transformer. So that's one big advantage. 
All right, so the next one that I want to talk about is a Y Delta connection. And let me actually move this a little bit to the right so that we have some room over here. Let's put it over here. And this one is going to be, again, a Y Delta connection. So that's the next one that we're going to talk about. So again, the primary in this case is connected in Y configuration. So we're going to take all the neutrals together. And again, I'm showing this is grounded, but this neutral doesn't necessarily have to be connected to ground. So I'm going to connect this over here and over here again to the neutrals of each one of the windings. And then we're going to have, of course, A phase over here, B phase over here, and C phase over here. Now on the secondary side, we're going to connect that in what's called a delta configuration. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the non-polarity side of each winding and connect it to the polarity side of the next winding down. So for example, you can see over here that we have the polarity mark of the transformer over here. So again, I'm going to connect the non-polarity side over here to the polarity side of the next winding. Same thing over here, non-polarity to polarity. And then lastly over here, non-polarity to polarity over here on the A phase. And then our connections for the rest of the power system would be over here. So here would be my A phase. Here would be my B phase. And here would be my C phase. Now, some of the advantages of this type of connection is that it does not have a problem with third harmonics like the YY configuration does. And it's also more stable for unbalanced loads because we have a delta on the secondary side. Now, a disadvantage, of course, is like I mentioned earlier, that we're going to have a phase shift between the voltages on the primary side and the secondary side. So, for example, the VAB voltage. So the face-to-face -face voltage on the primary side between the A and B phases is going to be shifted 30 degrees with respect to the A to B voltage on the secondary side. Now, typically these are arranged in the United States such that the high side leads the low side by 30 degrees. Or in our words to say that is that the low side lags the high side by 30 degrees. So let me write it over here and I'm running out of room over here, but advantages is no issues with harmonics with harmonics and disadvantages would be that again we have phase shift for the voltages and in fact for the currents as well so next one that we're going to look at is the opposite so we're going to have just like we can have a Y delta connection, we can have a delta Y connection. So the opposite of what we just looked at. So this over here, I'm gonna say this is a delta Y connection. And as you can imply, the connection is gonna be very similar to this one, but it's gonna be on the opposite side of the transformer. So we're gonna have a delta connection on the primary side and a Y connection on the secondary side. So again, the secondaries, then I'm gonna take the neutrals and connect them together. So this goes over here and over here. This would be my A phase. This would be my B phase. And this over here would be my C phase. And on the primary again, we're gonna connect non-polarity to polarity to make a delta connection. So over here, this connects here, this connects here, and then over here again, non-polarity to polarity. And our connections would come over here. So this is A phase. B phase over here and C phase over here. And again, I mentioned this before, but the high side is going to lead the low side by 30 degrees. That's the convention, at least over here in the United States. And then lastly, we're going to have what's called a delta delta connection. So I'm going to make that for this transformer over here. And actually, just before we do that, the same advantages and disadvantages that we mentioned over here for the Y delta connection apply to the delta Y connection. So it's just that we flipped the delta connection from one side to the other. But again, the advantages and disadvantages are the same. Now for a delta delta connection, 
let me actually get rid of this. So this is going to be a delta delta connection. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to connect the non-polarity side to polarity. So this goes over here, non-polarity to polarity, non-polarity to polarity over here. Same thing for the secondary. This goes here, here, here. And then we have our connections to the rest of the power system. So A phase over here, B phase over here, C phase over here. Same thing over here, A, B, and C. So over here, over here, and over here. Now, just like on the YY configuration that we looked at in the first example, a main advantage of a delta delta connection is that there's not going to be any phase shift between the primary and secondary windings because of course they're both connected in the same configuration now a disadvantage is of course that because we've connected this in delta configuration we don't have the neutral available for us to ground either side of the transformer so that's a disadvantage and then the other disadvantage which also applies to any winding that's connected in delta configuration is that the winding of the transformer has to withstand the full face-to-face -face voltage. So for example, over here, this voltage that's applied here across this winding would be V, A, B. Same thing over here, for example, for the delta-delta connection, this voltage right here is V, B, C. And for example, over here, this voltage over here is V, C, A. So anytime we have a delta connection, we're going to apply the face-to-face -face voltage to the winding of the transformer, which means, of course, that it needs to be able to withstand that voltage, which is higher than the face-to-neutral voltage. So the insulation is going to be more costly than if we had a Y connection. All right, so those are the four different combinations that we can use for a two-winding transformer. We have a YY connection, a Y delta connection, a delta Y connection, or a delta-delta connection, and each one of them has their advantages and disadvantages with respect to each other.